So when we perform program evaluation, we're not just pulling answers out of thin air. We have to look at data points to be able to inform our evaluation and tell us how the program is doing. Uh, we call these data points indicators. Um, and if you've worked in any kind of organization that has a strategy, you may have heard of key performance indicators. And these are the things that your bosses usually keep track of um, to determine whether or not you're doing your job well. Uh, and a, a well-designed program will have uh, a, an evaluation plan in place. It will have key performance indicators identified. Um, and that that is what should exist. Uh, through the rest of this course, we're going to assume that isn't the case um, because we're going to practice setting up uh, uh, evaluation questions and establishing indicators and identifying relevant data points uh, for those. So I mentioned indicators are the things that we measure to gauge program performance. For our purposes, uh, just by way of example, uh, we're going to imagine that we are doing a program evaluation of a school district's summer lunch distribution program. Um, and we can uh, imagine these indicators at different points in the logic model. And at different points in the logic model, there are certain indicators that make more sense. Uh, just as an example, if we're looking at inputs, um, we can look at the investments that have been made in the program and ask questions about them. Uh, and input indicators could include the number of staff, uh, or the staff hours uh, that have been spent on any individual part of the program. Uh, and we can look at budgets and dollars spent. These are, are very robust indicators uh, when we ask questions of program inputs. Um, and just an example of what an evaluation question might be uh, would be how many person hours are invested in the program. Um, so if we total up the number of, of staff and the number of hours uh, spent working on any one program, uh, we can really have a really strong look at what the, um, what the inputs of that program are. When we look at process, we're, we're measuring kind of the doing of the program. Uh, and this is where most of our adjustments are gonna be made uh, if we do have to adjust our program. And uh, process indicators could include things like efficiency, um, quality or consistency uh, of services. And, and all three of these are, are very different uh, criteria, very different indicators, um, but are all very important when we look at programs, particularly ones that are funded and, and implemented by the public sector. So for our process indicator for the school lunch program, uh, and we were interested in quality of processes, um, I might ask, what is the nutritional value of the lunches being distributed? Uh, are they feeding children the appropriate number of calories and the appropriate types of foods and, and kind of meeting their, their, their physical needs? We can also look at uh, outputs, um, and these are measurements of our program's products, and they are directly resulting from process. Really appropriate output indicators could be uh, questions of how many, right? How many of a thing is produced, um, or what proportion of those things uh, is, is being used, um, what proportion of need is being met. Um, and so for our example, uh, if I'm interested in outputs and I'm, I'm interested in the, the, the issue of, of waste, um, I might ask how many lunches are wasted or unclaimed at the end of each day. Um, and then finally, uh, outcome indicators. Uh, and these are measurements of the program's impacts in the world. These can be really hard because if you remember in one of the earlier slides, uh, the world is full of context and there are many forces uh, influencing uh, everything that we do. So it can be really hard to uh, isolate the outcomes or the actual impacts our program is making on the world because there are so many uh, possible contributing factors. We could still try to isolate some of these, these indicators. Um, so for example, we might ask how many children are meeting the recommended daily caloric intake over the summer. Um, so this is something that could be related to our, our program, um, but you know there could also be other, other sources of calories that, that children could be taking advantage of. So the rest of the material in this unit is going to build on what we've just spoken about here. Uh, as you think through these things uh, and you have any questions, by all means, please feel free to reach out to me.